Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on March 2nd, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, and volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, always looking at our sun. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. There are no major solar flares to report, nor CMEs that are heading our way. We did see a few CMEs, but not in an Earth-directed fashion. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, this is all activity cresting into view. You can see on the left-hand side, that's the South Pole. Big polar filaments stretching from the surface, and as well, multiple filaments cresting in. Big sunspot region turning away in the outgoing position. That's one of six sunspots that are Earth-facing, or seven. That one is not Earth-facing anymore. Having a look at the last 48 hours, multi-spectrum pointing out the biggest events. And as I said, no major solar flares to talk about. Been hanging out in the C range for solar X-ray flux. Coronal hole, small coronal hole in the southern hemisphere, and another one building just north of that. Going to be keeping an eye on that. 171 angstroms here. Amazing images at an active six sunspot regions. And those are the regions there. Having a look at Another way to see our sun and our sunspots in motion. Current space weather conditions, there are none to report. Solar winds are coming in at a low 281 kilometers per second. I mean, it's average, about average. 300 kilometers per second is average. Solar X-ray flux showing a moderate C-class solar flare today. Solar proton flux is low and geomagnetic activity sitting at KP2. Now let's have a look at or the Space Weather Prediction Center showing their space weather spiral. The little green circle is Earth. Center yellow circle is the sun. And everything else is the space weather that is heading our way, set to give us a glancing blow. Eighth into the ninth of March. A couple minor CMEs. Not fully Earth-directed, but going to give us a glancing blow. And another look at them here with the ISWA space prediction spiral. In this diagram, the yellow circle is Earth. Having a look at Alaska, too. Showing the last 48 hours of space weather leaving our sun. CMEs notable there. And in the south... That star in the bottom of the screen, that is Saturn. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. As we're sitting at about 220 earthquakes, according to USGS, largest and deepest the last 24 hours is this, 5.8 reported in Fiji, 536 kilometer depth, as well a couple other deep earthquakes right beside it, 536 kilometer and as well 263. New Zealand is seeing activity today as well. Rare South New Zealand, 4.3 there to Anu, to Anau, New Zealand, as well as Mikitu, New Zealand, and Pinanui. I, I hope I'm saying them semi right. <laughs> Pretty quiet across Indonesia and the Philippines plate. Activity continuing at Ishioka, Japan, off the coast of Fukushima, and as well Mongolia. Reporting a 4.3, that was most recent activity through the Aleutian Islands towards the Rat Islands, 4.9 and a 4.2, 4.4 uh, towards Sandpoint, Alaska, minor activity Hawaii, minor activity across North American Plate, but nothing notable and largest only being a 2.9. No swarms to talk about. Caribbean Plate has been an active day. Cruise Bay, Virgin Islands, seeing a 4.0 and 4.2. South American Plate here. 
seeing activity as well. Chile, 4.3, and northward into Argentina, as well a 5.0 magnitude earthquake there. South Sandwich Islands, north of the Michael Volcano, which has been spewing SO2 for the past week. 4.1 there, reported in Greece. And as well, Iceland, we're going to be keeping an eye on Iceland as there has been an increasing swarm of earthquakes around Grendavik and as well north Iceland. There's lots of activity starting there as well, so heads up, we could see yet another eruption in Iceland towards Grendavik or maybe even a newer volcano northward. Having a look here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Take a quick moment to thank you all for watching and as well all of your comments and support in the community tab yesterday. I really appreciate you all reaching out and letting me know your feedback on the channel. Daily events worldwide will be here for you. So stay aware and prepared and be ready folks and much love. Having a look here at SO2 emissions. This is showing the air quality, all of the sulfur dioxide coming from the 44 active volcanoes. Northern Hemisphere has been increasing, increasingly worrisome with all of this new SO2 swirling around in our upper atmosphere and lower atmosphere. All depends on whether it's a low or a high that it's spinning around in. Having a look over Southeast Asia, Russia. The Kamchatka volcanoes have been going and going and going and spewing multiple pyroclastic clouds and sulfur dioxide emissions for the past few weeks. Looking at Africa, Australia, and through Indonesia, Malaysia. Big plume heading south of Australia. And you see all that SO2 coming out of the southeast part of the continent. And as well, pretty big plumes coming out of New Caledonia region. It's time to leave Earth, folks. You wonder why Bezos and Musk want to leave Earth so bad? Earth is sick. And it's going through a cycle that it would be going through nonetheless, whether or not... Man was a part of it. Solar cycle 25. Solar cycles drive all weather on our planet. Now let's get to weather here brought to you by windy.com. We're going to start out overlooking North America as there are multiple lows on the coast. One on the east coast raking up northeastern regions going to watch for extreme weather as that goes through over the next few days and as well multiple lows encroaching on the west coast i did put out a quick video yesterday california is expecting a lot of snow and a lot of moisture with these lows coming through long range forecast big system here developing again for the northeastern united states as an alberta clipper moves northward across canada and then another system here comes out of the gulf could see some blizzard conditions in long range in the Atlantic and then another low pressure system developing through central Midwest, United States. Overlooking Europe, you've got a big low centered right over the United Kingdom right now. Gray days ahead of you as multiple lows get wrapped up in that thing. Low pressure systems scooting into the Mediterranean as well. Watch for extreme weather to break out there through parts of northern Spain and along the coast. Multiple systems heading towards Europe this week. So heads up, my friends and family over there. Quick look here overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia, and Africa. Got a cyclone getting ready to rake down Madagascar. West Coast, and as well a big system developing in Central Indian Ocean, right there. 
that could be a cyclone heading towards northwestern region of the Australian continent in the long range. Let's have a look at this cyclone that is forecast here for Madagascar. Starting Tuesday into Wednesday, it's going to rake down the west coast of Madagascar and then ride the coastline here and grind right through the south. And then it's going to stick around for a couple days. So heads up, South Africa and as well Madagascar. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, multiple lows off the coast right now. Gray days, lots of moisture heading into BC, Washington, and Alaska. Big low pressure systems here developing in the long range forecast. Not much seems to be changing. Big high pressure blockade sitting atop Hawaii through the Central Pacific. Overlooking South America. Stormy conditions all through Argentina and parts of Chile as low pressure center lingers around for the next few days. Eventually it moves towards the north, towards Colombia, and then will scoot towards Central America. But yeah, some stormy conditions. Expect extreme weather, torrential downpours, and hail. Now let's have a look at temperature forecast here as we've got some still got some cold nights across the northern hemisphere right now but abnormally warm temperatures through eastern Canada and the United States Europe you've got polar vortex trying to encroach and move westward then overlooking Australia and Africa some pretty warm days ahead for you guys but some pretty cool nights as well. Higher elevations for sure. Now let's have a look at our polar vortex. These are our upper level winds depicting whereabouts our northern hemisphere is, or sorry, our north pole, and as well our magnetic north. Quick look at all of the trade winds and the equator action last year versus this year, 2024. And 2023, quite a big difference between this time last year and today, especially overlooking North Atlantic. Let's go back to 2015, the year of major record-breaking hurricane season. This year, 2015, overlooking Central. Let's go back to 2018 this time. 2018 and today. Quite a big difference, folks. A lot of big changes unfolding right before our eyes. And thank you so much. I am truly grateful to have you aboard and along for this journey. Much love. Stay aware, prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.